Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Back in March, my buddy Owen McGrenigan came over from Ireland for his first visit to the United States, also his first time to a reptile show, and I sat down with him at the show and got his thoughts on what he thought about the show. And that's what we're gonna do today. You're watching Triple B TV. You guys have retics over in Ireland? Um, some people do have. Some people do. Some people do have retics. Um, ball pythons are kind of. They're the main one. I think it's mainly because retics get so big. Yeah. So yeah. so people and it's like. It's a small island. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so not not many people a big amount of space to have the bigger reptiles, and even if they did, like it's because it's a small island. Most of the people there aren't reptile people. It's kind of like. Rep, the rep, reptile hobby has always kind of been pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Um, obviously, over here, there's loads of people that are into reptiles, but I think that's also a population thing because America's so big, you just can have big, massive shows like this. Whereas because there's only a, like a, a few select people in Ireland that, in saying that, are really into their reptiles, they, they do breed and stuff. Although there's not very many, it means we don't have shows anywhere near that scale. We only have like one show in the south that's only started three years. It's called, um, I think it's literally called Ireland Reptile Expo or Ireland Expo. And that was the one down in Waterford? Is yes, it's down in Waterford. And um, that's just south of Dublin? Or? Yes, yes. It, it's a little further south from Dublin and it's running, I think it runs on in a either June or July and it happens once a year. So it's not even like a, a quarterly thing or like a like half a year. It's like once a year and it's only been th like three years going. So it's still still getting to grips with things as, as from what I've heard. I haven't been to it myself yet. Um, I plan on going to see it and obviously see. Because on the other side of the country from you, right? Yeah, yeah. In saying that, the country is pretty small. I can go, to, like I can, I can drive down. I plan just driving down and staying over for it because it's like a, it's a day thing, but I want to spend the whole day there and then just sleep and drive back up. So I'm not doing like the 12 hours in total of driving. But being here has like really opened my eyes to how, how many people are like into the reptiles and everything. And you're, you're gonna move over here now. I want to move over here now. <laughs> Definitely, I want to move over here. And I think it's, I find it really cool how, how many people are so positive about it over here as well. Like if you were to say, you wanted to get into like breeding reptiles or something back home, a lot of them would be like, don't do it straight away. It's like, you're gonna lose all your money. Don't do it, don't try it. Like if it's, a, if it's a hobby, then that's fine, but don't try to do what you enjoy for a, for a living sort of thing. It's like, you won't, you won't get anything out of it. But here it's like, yeah, we're just, you are all doing it. You know, you are all, obviously you have losses. You're gonna have losses and you're gonna have I think Times. there's a lot of people here that are doing it that are not necessarily. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's there are yeah, plenty yeah. of people breeding snakes as a as a first job as a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think there are many people that that do it on a level where you would think they were doing it as a, as a job, but they do have day jobs a lot of the time. Yeah. I, think, I, I don't think there's as much money in being. I don't know. I, I can't. I'm speaking. I know. I'm speaking from personal experience here. Yeah. That there's not. You're gonna end up spending more money than you think you are. And yeah, you're not going to so, make as much money as you think you are. Yeah, I know that for a fact. Like I know that there, because as obviously your business builds, the overhead costs build too. Like it's always a thing, and then it's uh, it's always like a luck game too. Yeah, if, with, with morphs and everything. Like, but it's been a great experience coming over here and just seeing the different variety of animals that you guys have, and you know, getting to meet everyone. Like, everyone's been so friendly. Freedom breeder, so friendly. Um, you so friendly, <laughs> you know. Like I have my everyone's, moments. everyone's kind of. I, I don't know. Everyone's kind of welcomed me with like really quickly, and um, there wasn't really any issues with me hanging out with you guys or anything. You know what I mean? Like it was very, very quick. I <laughs> kind of like let's you not, and this snake right now. Let's <laughs> not developing a real quick relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a beautiful snake. She is. She's, gen gen she's gentle. For some reason, uh, cow retics seem to, maybe it's because they're more um, bred into captivity as far as the generations go. Yeah. Um, but they they seem to have, most cow retics, 
most cow retics by nature seem to have a, a more docile nature than yeah. just, by, just by nature. Huh, aren't you just a big I've, I've never handled a snake this big as either, so this is a, a whole experience for me too, Sweet. but it's so awesome. We got three they're firsts, so, we, got three, we got triple firsts for you there. We got, yeah. we got first time in, in the States, first time at a reptile show, first time holding a snake this big. Yeah. All right, and that's a win, win, win. Yep. So how, how would you say the show is different? Like, what did you expect versus what has happened? Um, I didn't know how big the show was going to be, simply because obviously like i've seen I've, although i haven't been to the show down south i've seen videos of it and it's tiny like it's really small so i didn't know whether the show was going to be like in a really massive building or if it was just going to be like a small building but everyone's like running around everywhere everything's high, like really fast paced and everything this is it's big it, it, is, it is a big show there was a lot, like when I first walked in like and seen the inside of the building, I thought like the, it didn't look that big. But whenever you actually see the amount of animals and the amount of vendors in the place, it's like there's a lot to see. Like they're all, they're all in enough space to actually like show everything that they want to show. Were you able to see the entire show? Were you able to stop at every booth and see? Yeah, I, really? I, yeah I walked around a few times because I walked around um, once on obviously the the setup day so i seen what was out on the setup day not everyone had their stuff out and then um i did a lot of walking around i went around with um cat whenever she was doing her video in and seen like the, the pangea booths and all that and went around to like um sand boas and everything seen them but cresties are my thing so like yeah. i was i was at all the cresty booths and it was really cool because there's some like i had never seen a lily white either in right, person right. like i've only seen them like on video and stuff and even even yesterday at the auction i was saying to um jimmy like i had never seen half of the morphs like i've never seen half the morphs in person so you it's one thing seeing them on camera but whenever you're seeing it in person oh, like yeah, the yeah. colors yeah, like really you see pop. In person is a whole different yeah thing, like there was yeah. a, a champagne on the auction table and I was like wow that's that's really nice <laughs> but I'd never seen a champagne in person like on video I've, I've kind of thought it just looked kind of like caramelly colored and it's kind of like this like it looks all right but whenever you're actually looking at it, in, at it in person and see like it popping out it's really cool it's really cool to see well I've been I've been stoked to have you over here dude it's been it's oh been it's fun. been great like, it's been great being here it has been fun I, I need it just gives me a little reminder because I as I mentioned to you before that Ireland was my favorite one of the little trip we went on and went to visit a lot of different countries ireland was my favorite because of the people yeah and how warm of a people that what what do you what do you and this is definitely not snake related what but what do you attribute that to like the is there anything that you could as far as um, just ireland being such a a wonderful place for for people for being such a warm people of as a country like is it because of so many so much all the wars that happened recently I think is it uh, you know, I, in I recent history, like having I all that stuff. I think a lot of it comes from our tradition of being storytellers. So, like, we were always known, like, back before all the, the wars and everything, like, back whenever, even probably before, like, the whole, the whole St. Patrick brought Christianity thing, like, we were, we were into, like, all our pagan stories, so, like, fairies and like leprechauns and all, they were all there and they were all stories that would be told to people that came to the country and just through family and stuff. So I think it's just that love for storytelling and kind of like welcoming people into the country and kind of, I think it's because it's such a tight knit community too, only it, instead of being a community that would be like kind of clicky where they wouldn't let others in, it's like because you're from outside, we want to know more about that person as well. So instead of like being like, oh, they're they're not from here. We're like, come on in, have a seat. Tell me about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of the people are, are really friendly. Like I've I've been to another county, but it was like in the middle of nowhere. I was on like a, a mountain a mountain pass, and there was just an an old man about I don't know maybe in his 60s or something just sitting in his car at a viewpoint listening to like traditional Irish music and he got out of his car and started chatting to me like as we were like in the middle of nowhere he's just like hey how are you going like what are you doing I don't know we're it's a strange people <laughs> we're well, strange I, people I like it I like it <laughs> <laughs> I find that coming here 
I got a very warm welcome as like too though. It wasn't like I was super ner like anxious coming here as well though, because obviously I had never been to America. I had never been to Reptile Expo, so I didn't know what to expect. I have been like away from home by myself and stuff before, but I've never went on a journey as far. Like I've never had to get like three flights one after the other to get somewhere. So I was like, will all my flights get there and everything? I was like really worried about that. Well, luckily, luckily you came to a reptile expo where we, are, we have something in common with everybody versus like yeah. just going to downtown LA and trying to have your first little US yeah, experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, the reason I came is because I'd seen you guys at it and it looked like a really nice expo and I wanted to see animals and meet people <laughs> that liked the same things I did and kind of network a bit while also seeing cool things. Unfortunately, I can't buy anything, but That's you know, right. it's still it's still nice. It's, either, still nice it's still nice to look. It's still nice to look. It is nice because you see things that like we don't have. Yeah. And it also kind of it gives you an idea of where things are going over here. I got her. I got her. She'll come over this way. It gives you an idea of like what different breeders are trying to achieve with their lines and things like people going more into like tricolor cresties and like although lily whites were like in the uk like they were they were made by lily exotics um i hadn't seen any in ireland like i i had i'd never seen the only the only get, like cresties i had seen in ireland um from like stores not really from breeders but they've all just been like mixed more for Harlequins and things like that. So the Lily White was like really nice to see in person because it was just, it, it was kind of shocking how like white it was, you know what I mean? Like right, it really right, right. does pop. But I really like the the pattern on this guy. Like I, I think it looks kind of like digital almost. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It is very much like that. Yeah, she's, but she's they move so slow and calmly, it's really, it's really cool to watch. Yeah, pythons definitely have that slow kind of, you know, when they're not, when they're just checking stuff out, they're a bit slow. Yeah. Not, not like a colubrid, it's kind of like dart, 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 yeah. just kind of slowly. But, well, hey, it's been, it's been great to have you here, man. It's, it's I, been great to be here. I look forward to being able to come visit you over there sometime, maybe. Right? Yeah. We need some footage of that Waterford show and see what it's all about. Yeah, de definitely. That would be really fun. Yeah. I'd also like to visit your collection and stuff. Too, yeah, dude, yeah. Well, you're, you, you need, next time you come back, you gotta come up to where we're at and we'll make yeah. a longer trip out of it. Go check some other That'd stuff out. That would be so awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right on. Thanks again for sitting down with me, Owen. It's always great to see you, man. Well, always great. That was the first time that we met, but I'm looking forward to you coming back to another show, man. Maybe make your way up here like you said on the video. You said it. Don't, yeah, you said that. Next week, we're going to be taking you back to Herpeton with a discussion from Mike Reedy about tree frogs, a specific species. I don't remember the exact one off the top of my head, but you can go watch it next week and find out exactly what it is. Until then, you've been watching Triple Beat TV. Y'all take care. <laughs> Starting to record on the audio would be a, a, a yeah, good yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. No bloopers today. <laughs> Come on. Said no bloopers! Back in March at the October... Tinley show. <laughs> Back in March, my buddy Owen McGrendon came over from Ireland. Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B.